This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. In this video, we're going to talk about counting problems, and specifically, these problems will relate to horse race problems. In our first section, we're going to talk about the two formulas we use for these types of problems. And then, in the following five sections, we're going to talk about horse race problems, and we're even going to get into the uh, jargon of horse racing. All right, let's get started. Here are the two formulas that we use for horse race problems. The top formula is called the combinations formula, and it's marked with a C. The bottom formula is called the permutation formula, and it's marked with a P. The one thing you have to keep in your mind when trying to select these two formulas is whether or not order matters or it doesn't matter. If we're doing a horse race problem where the order of the horses as they're finishing does not matter, we use the top formula. Okay, so that formula is used when order does not matter. If we're looking at a horse race problem and we're interested in exactly which horse finishes before another horse, we use the bottom formula. That's when order does matter. All right, so if you keep those two things straight, we'll be able to do the following five problems. Now, I am going to be using these formulas via a calculator. So I'm going to be plugging the numbers into a calculator, and I'm going to let the calculator do all the work. Okay, so you could look for a separate video on MathGuide concerning those uh, formulas and actually how to use them to calculate by hand, but I will not be doing that within this video. I'm just going to actually show you how to come up with the answers based on a given set of scenarios. All right, let's get started. All right, here's our first problem. If eight horses are in a race, how many ways can a single horse win? All right, this is an interesting problem because it turns out there's two different ways to do this problem. Um, if you look at this and say, oh, order matters, right? I, this is a horse race problem. So you're going to say this is permutations. I've got eight horses. I'm going to choose one. If you say, hey, this is a combinations problem. i got eight horses. I'm going to choose one. And you plug them both into the calculator. Let's see what happens. Let's take our first calculation. So I'm going to use the menu button, probability, for this calculator. And I'm going to put in permutations, 8, 1. Those are the two numbers we're talking about. So you hit Enter. I get 8. Let's try it the other way. Menu. Statistic. Nope. Probability. Combinations. 8, 1. Press Enter. And we get 8. To fully understand why it is the answer comes up the same, you could study the formulas, and you'll see that they numerically come up with the same amount. However, qualitatively, I think you could understand that if you have one horse, there is no order of horses. There's only one horse. There's only one way a horse can finish in the sense that there's no order to consider. Okay, so this is a, a problem where order doesn't even make any sense. If you have one object, there is no order to consider. Okay, so that's why both formulas happen to give us the same. And uh, intuitively, we should have understood this. There's eight horses. There's eight ways the horses could finish. Eight different horses, eight ways they could finish. Let's move on to the next problem. All right, for this problem, there's a bit of jargon here. This is a, a term that comes up into horse racing, the word trifecta. If you go to a a park and you want to choose a trifecta, what that means is you're choosing three horses and you're choosing what order those horses are going to finish. So not only are we choosing just three horses that are going to win the race, but the exact order in which they're going to finish. So if you look at this problem, it says, if there are 14 horses in a race, how many trifecta types of wins could there be? So that means if you were to take 14 horses and you were to take three of those horses, order does matter, so we're going to use the permutation formula. 
let's throw this in a calculator. All right, so you go to menu, probability, permutations, 14 horses, and we're going to grab three of them. 2184. And our number is 2184. So that's 2,184 ways three exact horses in that order can finish the race. Let's move on to our next problem. All right, for problem number three, we have another uh, word from horse racing jargon that's uh, interesting. It says exacta. If we have six horses in a race, how many exacta wins can there be? All right, what's an exacta? Exacta is when you choose two horses and you say, you know, I know these two horses are going to win. And I think I know which one's even going to be the first. So you say, I'm going to pick two horses and I know exactly the order in which those two horses are going to finish the race. Okay, that's an exacta choosing two horses and you know which way they're going to finish the race. So you're choosing a first and a second place horse. All right, let's figure out how this works. Well, you got six horses and you're going to choose two of them. And since we're talking about order mattering, we're going to use permutations. Let's throw in a formula. So we go to menu, probability, permutations, Six horses, we're going to grab two of them. And we're going to hit enter. And there you go, 30. So there are 30 ways two horses could possibly finish when order is important. All right, let's move on to our next problem. All right, here's problem number four. And again, we see another horse racing term, quinella. So if you have five horses or in a race, how many ways can um, quin a quinella occur? All right, so what's a quinella? A quinella, quinella is when you choose two horses and you say, man, I know that those two horses are the fastest horses in the race, but you're quite not sure which way those two horses are gonna finish. You know they're going to beat all the other horses, but you don't know what order and they're going to uh, occur, which way they're going to finish. Uh, so this is obviously a combinations formula. So we have five horses, and let's say that we're going to grab these two, and this one we're going to throw into the combinations formula. All right, let's throw it in a calculator. All right, so we go to menu, uh, probability, combinations, five, comma, two. Press enter, 10 different ways. So that's what I'm gonna put right here for our final answer, 10. So there's 10 different ways that a quinella can occur for this number of horses. All right, let's go to one last problem. All right, here's our last problem. If there's nine horses in a race, how many ways can they finish? So it depends on how you look at this problem, what the answer is. But I will tell you what the answer would be on a test. Okay, so if you have nine horses and you want to figure out how many ways they could finish, sure, you could say, I'm going to take nine horses and I want to say... How many ways can we grab nine? Well, if you do this, you say, you're just thinking of this as uh, a combination. You're thinking, oh, nine horses? How many ways can nine horses finish when order doesn't Im isn't important? If you have nine horses, and I want to know how many ways can all of those nine horses finish, I'm going to tell you that these two answers are not going to be the same. Let's plug them both into a calculator and let's come to some understanding of why they're different. All right, let's take the first one. I'm going under probability. I'm hitting now combinations, nine, and then we're gonna grab nine horses. The answer, answer is a predictable one. Uh, let's try another one. Let's do probability, uh, this time permutations, nine, and we're gonna grab nine, hit enter. Okay, so we get 
a very small answer, and we get a very big answer. All right, so our first answer was 1, and the other one was 362, 880. All right, why is there 1 for the first? The first one means if you have 9 horses and they're all going to race, yeah, there's only one way you could look at this if order doesn't matter. Yeah, no kidding. There's nine ways nine horses could come in and finish. Yeah, so nine horses will finish the race. There's only one way those nine horses are going to uh, finish if the order doesn't matter. Okay, when the order does matter, and this is usually what people mean by this problem, you know, how many ways can uh, nine horses finish? In other words, you're going to pick a first horse, a second horse, a third horse, and so on, all the way down the nine horses. There's a lot of different combinations. And that's 362,880. All right, this has been some horse problems, but we've got tons of things to offer you on Math Guide. Check out our interactive quizzes, our text-based lessons, and, of course, other instructional videos. Take care.